up tube uh, let me fix that what up tube what are we doing today well not a whole lot we have what is being known or called like a generational winter storm in south central texas i'm walking out to the end of my driveway carefully i got a stick see to hold so i can show you what the street looks like uh, they're asking everybody to stay off the roads. If I slip and fall, hopefully I save the camera. Actually, I've been out here a couple times to check. See, I slipped, but I didn't fall. The street looks like this. Currently. It's a big sheet of ice. It is the afternoon. But, yeah. This is a big sheet of ice. So, unfortunately, it's really not safe. It's very, very chilly outside. Ah, dropped my stick. Super chilly outside. Uh, it is 23 degrees with an 18 degree wind chill at the moment, which is uncommon in this area of Texas. It is very slippery. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, just being careful driving back. You hear my feet. That's crunching ice on our road base driveway. Uh, it's supposed to snow. I can actually start feeling some of the precipitation. It rained all last night. So, the rain caused everything to freeze over, basically. And, uh, make sure my drive my concrete is walkable i'm going to turn the light on in here real quick in the garage i'm also going to give you an update on the 53 we did do some work on that but let's uh show you what the car looks like there is a very thick ice you can't even scrape off and for all the guys and gals watching us in the Midwest and anywhere else, we're not used to this. This doesn't happen in the San Antonio, New Braunfels, Austin, boy, most of Texas. Look at all the ice. All right. So this is something odd, something different. And the Porsche is fine. 53 is fine here in the garage. But... Hey, they're asking everybody to stay off the roads. Uh, I've seen a couple of cars come down the road trying to get to the grocery store or whatnot and sliding down. Very, very unsafe. Uh, two cars have been beached on the ditch down this way at the bottom of the street. One car, when I was out here talking to my neighbor, tried to make the corner and almost landed in the neighbor's front yard. So... You know, it's really, really bad. So we're not going anywhere. We got supplies. And uh, our neighbor just made it to our local grocery store. So he's getting some supplies for us just in case. The 53. We got the front door already done. So there's not a whole lot to see there. That hasn't changed much. But we did take all the trim off of it. So you can see that all the stainless is off, the fender, the door, the other door, all of it. The, the, we tried really hard to salvage the original badge and we could not salvage the badge. It literally was so deteriorated, it was falling apart when you tried to touch and remove it. This door right here, stripped down. Took the access panel out. That's sitting over here. So we took that access panel out and stripped all the interior upholstery off of it. The interior frame. Everything on this door was in awesome condition with the exception of the hardware. We had to drill out the screws that hold the trim. You know, right here in this area. So 
that wasn't difficult. We just drilled it out. I have an extractor drill bit and an extractor attachment. So we were able to take the heads off without damaging the trim. Door still closes nice. And what else did we do? I'm going to set my glasses down. Trunk opens up nicely. Look at that. No more squeaks. This is all our parts. We got the headlight covers and uh, the outer trim. That's in, they're in really good shape. Uh, the two door trims. You can see this is, uh, we label everything. So when you take things apart, label where they go. So we cleaned them off and just used some blue tape and a, and a Sharpie, labeled everything. Um, what do we got? We got our handles. One of these handles is really, really bad. We took it off and the top part that screws on fell off of it. This is what it should look like, a whole piece. This one's in good shape. We, we disassembled it just to check. So we're missing one of these. This is the headlight frames. This holds the, the headlight, the solid beam in, in place, but those aren't hard to find. The outer garnishes are in good shape. All the trims in good shape. They need to be cleaned up, but they have no dents. No dents. There's no dents. This is all things that should be where they are. Um, like I said, they just need to be cleaned up. We can find the hardware for the back that hold it on. So that's not a big deal. The nose garnish for the hood, that needs to be... We'll find another one. I've already found a few online. And then there's the... Uh, upper garnish for the top of the hood that I thought was here I don't know where I put it oh it's behind this piece it's right there again that one's very worn we just hold on to it it's very worn and uh, we'll find well the upper garnish I'll show you on the hood we're probably not going to replace this is the old hardware I got one glove on it's so like you know this is all the old stuff. The washers that held the garnishes on. The hardware in the door. We're holding on to it. We'll bag it up. Just for reference. We're not going to reuse any of that. Mind the mess. We had to pile stuff in. You can see this is the original color of the car right here. That's kind of cool. It was like a light, light mint green. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to weld the two halves completely shut. So there's two halves of the hood. We're going to weld this solid, not use the garnish here, smooth this out. That's the plan. I uh, still don't know what I'm, if I'm going to find a new one. I probably will find a new garnish for the nose right here. So that will be cool. These are what the buckets look like. We're going to get new ones of that and get all the wiring out of here. There's not a whole lot of that. So next thing we got to do is actually start disassembling the outer trim, taking this off, all this stainless out. And, uh, yeah, we'll be done with this side of the car with the exception of the windshield and the uh, back window. So we will be purchasing as soon as we can get to the store, probably. This is going to last all the way. This weather is going to get worse tonight. And I'll tell you how much worse. But once we get back out, safely probably over the weekend we're going to get some wheel dollies so we can elevate the car on dollies and actually pull the porsche out move this car this way so we can center it and work on the driver's side so great news is got under the car got under the door this passenger door is in great condition so the front door we already know it's got that big hole of oxidation in it we already got the new doors in they're at my buddy's shop um, I got to get them back over here, but this door is great. The other two doors looked better condition than these this side, so I'm not expecting any surprises there. Knock on, knock on 53 metal. <laughs> but um, weather, it's uh, late afternoon. It's going to get worse. I'm going to go back inside. It's super cold. The windshield stinks even in the garage. Um, I got one glove on. The other one I had to take off so I can, you know, push the buttons on the camera but um it is beautiful but we're supposed to get snow tonight it's supposed to rain it rained last night it was freezing rain so you can tell it freezed over uh all the cars just sitting here the streets frozen uh the neighborhood kids up the street were sliding down the street just on their shoes earlier it was kind of cool but um 
we're supposed to get snow and according to the emergency weather forecasty thingy for our local area uh this ranges pretty much all of central and south texas uh, but mainly up here in the hill country we're supposed to get up to six inches of snow now i believe i've never been in that i've been in cold weather on the east coast in the midwest in december and january but i've never felt that and i don't hopefully i don't have to so um Hoping everybody's safe. I know the winter is stronger in other areas in the Midwest this week, uh, even in northern parts of Arizona and the, and the Pacific Northwest. So everybody be safe, be vigilant. Don't drive unless you have to. And if you have to, make sure you know what you're doing and you have the proper vehicle for it. Gigi loves it. Look at her. That's our pup, our gray nose. Come on, mama. Come on. Penny, our old girl's like, what the heck is going on? Ruben. There she goes, there she goes. They're not outside dogs. We're taking them in right now. They have to go out and do their thing. Look at that. GG. Oh, she's having a blast in the snow. <laughs> right on. You can see the snow's as high as the bumper. This everyone is just something that does not happen in our area so give us our moment <laughs> it's beautiful it's really cold like i said it's eight degrees the real feel wind chill of four actually real feel of four wind chill of negative uh i believe it said it was negative 10 with the windshield wind windshield wind chill see um everything's buried Everything is buried. Let's take a tape measure. I got one glove on. I don't know where I put that tape measure. There it is. All right, let's go in an area where I didn't move. Sorry for the shake cam. I'm trying to maneuver a frozen hand and a gloved hand. Well, be fair, we didn't move any snow in this area. There it is. At least on my deck. I'm going to call that six inches. It's just over six inches. I'm going to go down real quick here. Let's see if we don't fall. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is fun. I don't even know where the steps are. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Out here there's no uh, dog landmines if you know what I mean. Let's try it here. There it is. I'll try one more spot for reference as we get shallower. I'm going to call that six inches. Six inches of snow in the San Antonio area, at least ours. We'll say the, uh, the uh, hill country area, just about 40 minutes north of San Antonio. Yeah, I mean, again, look at how high the snow is out in our car. That's a, our Tucson. That's the Camry. That's the Elantra. It is cold. Uh, I need to get to my shovel that's in there. We'll see if we make that work today. Ooh. This windshield sucks. Again, not something we're used to. So we're taking a lot of pictures and we're documenting this. It's beautiful, it's cold, be safe if you're in Texas or wherever you have weather like this. We're not going anywhere today. I want to thank our utility companies, our first responders, everyone that's out there helping people that do need help. So far, so good. They maintenanced everything starting in the beginning of January, so um, it's nice that they do that every year so our power lines are clear and right now the only thing is uh us the people not overusing the grid which so far so good at least in our area so i'm gonna clean this up nice short video of our snow uh i had to throw this in the uh, other video the update on the 53 that was yesterday Valentine's Day. 
It was hella cold. Well, now it's hella more cold. Hella. And it's like this. Had to share. All right, y'all. Have a great, great week. Be safe. Be vigilant. And God bless.